Welcome back. This is Boomer Life on CIL 650. This is Boomer Life on CIL 650. Today, we are talking with Dr. Chris Coburn, the medical director and surgeon at Smart Shape Weight Loss Center. It offers the most comprehensive weight loss management programs, such as the lap band, gastric sleeve, gastric balloon. We're going to get into those in a moment. But let's talk about what you mean by programs. Right. So successful weight loss um, should not be viewed as a one-time quick intervention. Uh, whatever you choose to do in the, far in the form of weight loss is going to require an ongoing program of support. And at Smart Shape, we have three different programs, the gastric balloon, the gastric sleeve, and the lap band. All of those require support and counseling and help uh, from our team. And we've got a team of uh, healthcare professionals across the country. We have clinics available to do these procedures in Vancouver, uh, as well as Calgary, Regina, Winnipeg, and Toronto. Um, but it's the team approach. It's having access to nurses and coaches and dietitians and our counselors and program advisors. All of these people that give you the ability to learn how to use the lap band or the sleeve um, in a way that's going to give you the best chance of success. You've been around for a while here, too. I mean, this uh, you're not just brand new on no, the scene. No, I've been doing uh, bariatric or weight loss procedures uh, for about 11 or 12 years now. Uh, at Smart Shape, we've completed well over 5,000 procedures at our various clinics around the country. Um, and it's something where there is, ag again, a significant uh, demand. Uh, there's a significant problem with obesity. And... We're proud to be able to offer both safe and effective programs um, that allow people to, to not only lose the weight and improve their health and improve their quality of life, but most importantly, keep the weight off. That is always a struggle. And uh, we were talking uh, just during the, the break time about the, the many diets and every time. And as you get older and you start to put the weight back on, the body does not want to let you take off weight no matter what you do. Right. Yeah, body, your body, your brain views weight loss as a threatening condition. It thinks that there's no food left in the forest and you're going to starve to death, as ridiculous as that sounds. And so it sets up a whole series of physiological changes, including increased hunger and cravings and some other somewhat minor but, but um, important changes in metabolism to allow you to regain that weight and get back to what it considers to be a healthy state. What's important with what we do at Smart Shape is that we provide these programs, the gastric sleeve and lap band, which allow you to feel satisfied. Trick your brain, if you want, into thinking you've eaten much larger portions than you have, and I'm sure we'll talk about the, them in more detail. But the concept is that what we do is allow you to feel satisfied or full, but with a smaller portion of food. What we do, they're not diets. It's not like you must eat this and you can never eat that. We want you to eat and make good choices, eat the same food as the rest of the family, but be able to walk away from the table with maybe a bread plate or a dessert plate of food and feel satisfied and comfortable with that rather than having to eat the big dinner plate. Get rid of the hunger. Hunger is the enemy of diets. You have to use your willpower to fight the hunger. And here what we have with the lap band and the sleeve and the balloon are procedures that allow you to, to get rid of the hunger and deal with the hunger part of it. So you're still getting the proper amount of nourishment, the uh, uh, proteins and, and you know, the sorted different food groups just not as much. Right, right. So there is no change um, with these procedures. Um, there's no change in digestion or absorption. There's no major rearrangement of the anatomy and so on. Um, but uh, you basically um, trick your brain by utilizing a very small portion of stomach at the top, which when filled sends signals to your brain. The filling of that little bit of stomach is what allows you to get rid of the hunger. Now, people as they work up the courage to investigate this more, go to your website, which is? www.smartshape.ca. Okay. And they talk about, they look at what's available in the different procedures. We're going to get you to describe those procedures uh, in a little more detail in a, in a moment. Sure. But everybody wants to know, are they safe? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We, uh, uh, we again, have done well over 5,000 procedures without any major complications at our various centers across the country. So, yes, they're safe. 
Um, they're all laparoscopic procedures, meaning no big incisions, no big cuts in muscle. Um, the lap band procedure, for example, people are home the same day with a gastric sleeve. Um, you're in hospital for a couple of days recovering, but basically back to work in a very short period of time. And yes, they're safe. Wow. So that's a that's not very, very much time at all. No. I mean, to, to take care of a, an ongoing problem and let you get back. And, and results are... You'll see them fairly quickly? Yeah. So, again, it's different. R um, we c remind people that generally their weight problem was not something that came on overnight. Right. Um, and it's unrealistic to expect or to even want a solution um, that you're going to lose weight quickly. Um, because when you lose weight quickly, you can actually lose muscle mass instead of losing just the fat. So with the lap band, for example, our goal is that patients would lose about one or two pounds per week. Um, on a steady uh, basis. Uh, with the sleeve, it's a little bit quicker, at least at the beginning, and then levels out. The lap band is a more steady weight loss over a long period of time. And I would think then that, okay, so if, let's say it's a pound a week. At the end of a year, that's 50 pounds. Yeah. And I think for, for anybody who's obese, uh, that has got to be a great relief off the insides, the, the, the joints, all the other areas yeah. that you've been putting yeah. at risk. And it, at that rate of weight loss, we do see dramatic effects on diabetes, on cholesterol, um, high blood pressure, on joint pain. Foot pain is a grossly unrecognized problem in the obese population. And it doesn't take a whole lot of weight loss uh, before those problems start to dramatically improve. And we also have to talk a little bit about the improvements just in quality of life. Um, too many of our patients feel themselves somewhat socially isolated. They feel they can't do what they want to do. They can't be the person they want to be. There are very soft, if you want, um, quant qualitative type issues around quality of life um, that are hard to measure. And again, we want to work with people to make those make those improve. All right, let's talk about the specific uh, procedures uh, and training or, or or work that you do with uh, patients. Uh, and let's start with the lap band. Okay. Uh, tell us about that procedure. Okay, so I, I, unfortunately it's a little difficult sometimes over the radio to describe this, but again, if you go to our website at smartshape.ca, um, there's a great description, all sorts of videos, and but what you'll see is that the lap band uh, is a device that we place inside the abdomen. We place it around the very upper part of the stomach, leaving just a little bit, what we call the pouch of stomach above. And what happens is with the lap band, when our, when our patients eat, each bite of food comes down and it gets held up by the band and fills that little bit of stomach, about the size of your thumb. And that filling of that stomach sends signals through nerves up to the brain. The brain thinks there's food to the right to the top of the stomach and begins to generate a sense of satiety. Now that bite of food only stays above the band for about 30 seconds. It then passes through the band um, and goes down through the stomach and the bowel normally. Okay, and so then you swallow again. You take another bite of food and another bite, and that happens over and over again. And with that signaling to the brain, our goal is that you can be satisfied with that small meal. Again, no need for any vitamins or minerals or supplements, no change in what you eat. But with all of these procedures, and the lap in, in particular, it's important to change how you eat. Meaning, imagine the band is acting like a funnel so everything has to be chewed well in order that it get through and travel through the stomach and bowel. And we want you to eat slowly because it takes 30 seconds for that bite of food to pass through. So with the lap band, we're talking very much about changing how you eat, not what you eat. Okay. I would, and, and that addresses uh, what you talked about, that feeling of uh, being satiated. And in this case, uh, you feel full, but you are getting the proper nutrition right. at the same time. And all those rules that you were told about, okay, take a bite full of food, chew it 14 times, then swallow it, uh, and put your knife and fork down. And people will try, and, and, it, and it just never seems to work. This ensures that, that you you, you're, you're getting fed properly, right. but not too much. Right. right. So it's exactly how we want our patients to eat. It's just what your mother and your grandmother told you to do. Um, the difference being is that if you don't, if you try to eat too quickly or if you don't chew your food well enough, there's a chance of it coming back up on you, so you know. Mm -hmm. Now, the uh, other unique feature about the lap band, before we talk about the others, is the fact that it's adjustable. So the band goes around the top of the stomach, and on the inside of the band, there's an inflatable area called the balloon. And if we think food is going through too quickly, and you're not feeling satisfied with those small meals, 
then the band part is attached to a little reservoir that we put under the skin. And just by visiting one of our clinics, we can, uh, just through putting a little needle in through the skin, we can inject some fluid, fill this balloon area on the inside of the band, and um, slow down the transit of food from the pouch above to the rest of the stomach below. So that band is adjustable. It's a laparoscopic adjustable gastric band. Um, and the adjustability is critical to how this works. Um, and it's important, critically important, that if you have a lap band, that you have access to a team of professionals that counsel you on how to eat and when to get the band adjusted, but that you also have access to a clinic to get it adjusted. And there are certainly lots of individuals who travel outside of Canada, go to places and have these procedures such as a lap band, and then the problem is they come back and they don't have access to this follow-up team that we have in place at Smart Shape. So they don't get their band adjusted properly. They don't get the counseling they need, and it doesn't work well for them. I would see some major health risks uh, in not this not being done properly then. Y yeah. So trust, uh, trust with the people that you're working with. Trust in the, in the products and uh, the procedures is, is very, very important. And, and you can never repeat this enough, uh, uh, your website. Uh, smartshape.ca, www.smartshape.ca. All right, let's talk about the gastric sleeve. Okay. Um, the gastric sleeve is, again, a similar procedure in concept in that what it involves is actually removing a significant part of your stomach but leaving that little pouch at the top again, just like we have with the lap band, that little pouch of stomach, and then a long, narrow, thin tube of stomach left behind that almost acts like a band but again, slows down the movement of food from that little pouch of food at the top to the rest of the stomach below. Same concept, um, in order for this to work best, it's important that you change how you eat, chewing the food well and eating slowly. There's no need for any vitamins or minerals or supplements. Um, the difference being is that there's no device that needs to be adjusted from time to time. Um, but it is a, a more, it's a bigger operation because it does involve removing probably about 80% of the stomach. So this is, uh, after your consultation, you, uh, you would make this decision on having this procedure only after talking to uh, your experts uh, and knowing that this was precisely the right move for you. And, and this would be perhaps for the more obese person, the uh, seriously obese? Again, at Smart Shape, what we want to do is be able to offer our potential patients solutions and, and options, if you want. Um, if, if, you, if and when they contact us, um, they have access to one of our surgeons for a free consultation, uh, and we will discuss with um, the potential patient what might work best for them based on all of the kinds of things that we're talking about. Um, what is their weight? What are their health issues? Um, what kind of procedure do they think they want to participate in? It's a complex decision, and we don't make the decision. We just simply work with our potential patients and give them options over which of them, whether it's the band or the sleeve or even the gastric balloon, might work best for them. Now, I noticed that uh, when we were talking about the research and, and the procedures that you do, the gastric balloon is 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 not as as common uh, that you found that these other methods are better. Yeah, we haven't spoken a lot about it, but the gastric balloon is a device that's actually placed inside the stomach and inflated in the stomach and left in the very upper part of the stomach to again leave a little bit of stomach that's above the balloon that when you eat that part fills, you feel satisfied with those small meals, the food travels around the balloon and then down through the stomach normally. The difference with the balloon is it is a temporary device. It is something that we have to take out of the stomach after six months, and so the risk is the weight regain. So it's a s generally the patients we would recommend a balloon for are going to be younger, uh, generally women, lower BMI up to 32, but most importantly, whose weight has only been a problem for a short period of time, and they may be able to get back to the eating habits that kept them at a normal weight once the balloon has been removed. We're going to talk about why we should go to uh, your offices coming up in our, our next segment. We're talking about obesity, how it can be dealt with effectively, uh, some of the stigmas, uh, some of the myths about it, and we'll be right back with Dr. Chris Coburn, the medical director of the Smart Shape Weight Loss Center, all part of Boomer Life, here on Sea Isle 650. Celebrating the baby Boomer lifestyle, this is Boomer Life on Sea Isle 650.